this is Lena. Thanks again for joining me on my journey to the trail. So I thought I'd take you along with me and show you how I earn my keep on the farm. So I'm going to go do my chores and I'm going to take you with me. So Spirit is the princess on the farm so she gets fed first before everybody else. And I just feed her half a can of wet food in the morning, which I don't usually spill all over the floor, but on top of her dry food, and then she gets dry food throughout the rest of the day. So we feed the bunny rabbits here a mixture of pellets and flower seeds. sure that they have enough water. And sometimes they just like to pet the cute little baby bunny kitty and keep it. Hey love. Look how cute your little bunny is. <laughs> It's good for them to be handled regularly so that they're not so skittish of human. where we keep all of the little slash almost medium sized chickens. So this is where we keep all the babies when they're in um, incubation. Uh, we have a heat lamp on them. And then when they're a little bit older, they're allowed to walk around on the floor. And then outside of this area is where the bigger chickens live for the most part. No, he's not dead. He's just flopped over. There we go. And then we clean out their water dish and give them some new water. so that nobody falls in and drowns. Feeding chickens is quite possibly the grossest job here on the farm.
call scratch. It's just a mixture of cornmeal and seeds. And we give a little bit of that to these guys, but mostly it goes to the bigger chickens out here. And just toss that to them. And I like to go in here and shake up their feeder just to make sure their feed is all the way at the bottom. Now feeding the pigs is probably the hardest job on the farm simply because it involves getting the messiest and lifting a lot of heavy things. This is where we store the pig feed. The pigs get two different kinds of feed. So the mother pigs that live here permanently and give birth to all the babies get a lower grade feed, which is mostly just oats and corn, because they're not actually going to be eaten by anybody. But the market kids get a much richer feed that has sunflower seeds and flax and oats and corn. So we take these buckets and fill them up with the feed, and then we take them out to the bees. It's probably weigh a good 30 pounds each. And it's just building up those muscles for the pig. So here's the pig pen. There's the mama with some of her babies. And a big pile of baby pigs over there. And this is what we put the feed in. And it actually looks like this one is still full, so we're not going to put any in there. One bucket to the younger pigs that live right here on the side of the barn, and then we'll take two buckets out to the older kids who we refer to as the market kids who live way out in the field. Where we keep the medium sized pigs, we just call the baby pigs, and the big pigs are way out there. just get fed in bowls, but since there are so there are a lot more of the medium sized pigs, we feed them out of this three feeder so that they get enough food. So 
I used to carry the feed out to the backfield for the market pigs just with the buckets by myself, but I started putting it in this wagon once I realized that we had it because this is a lot easier. <laughs> These bucket, buckets weigh about 30 pounds each, so that's 60 pounds trying to carry all the way back there every single day. And this works my legs a little bit more than my arms, which I kind of need for the trip. actually being a little nicer today. They're not usually this polite. Now we're going to go get their water and fill up their water free water free flowing water feeder over there i am filling up the water buckets for the market kids so we can give them some water so this is our lovely young intern sydney who joins us on the farm from time to time to learn about farming she is up here all the way from where are you from sydney toledo ohio, toledo, ohio. And she is carrying the buckets without the wagon all the way out to the market kids because she's trying to toughen up. <laughs> Sydney's going to take care of the water. Now tell everybody what you're doing. I am putting the water into your little feeding tube. Most of the water. It's okay, whatever splashes out just goes into their little mud puddle that they like to roll around in. Subscribe because I make a new video every week and I'd love to have you join me here on my journey to the track.